They call it the City of Angels. Funny. In my 30 years here, I haven't seen a single one. My old friend Henry Wilson used to say, people dare to dream here. He liked that about L.A. I'd say, well, dreaming will get you killed. Maybe I was right. Nobody knows what happened to Henry all those years ago. But whatever it was, he didn't deserve it. Well, I ain't walking the beat no more. It's all new kids today protecting the fools from the wise guys, the crooks, from the psychopaths. Henry's oldest son, Nick, of all people, is one of those kids. I hear he's a hell of a cop, but will he live to see the sunset? I don't know. And there are times I just want to tell Nick, give it up, kid, go be a lawyer or a doctor or something, but it ain't my place. Besides, it would be a disservice to his old man. See, there are unanswered questions here, and I know that one day someone will get to the truth. What happened to Henry was a true crime. And if there's one man who deserves to find out the truth, it's his son, Nicholas Kang Wilson. This is his story. square miles of crowds, concrete, crime so cold they'd wither the soul and freeze the blood. Millions exist here, walking streets that may swallow them whole or spit out their bones. Locked away for the better part of 15 years, you've got no choice but to rely on those closest to you to watch out for your interests outside. In my absence, my son was given the keys to my kingdom, placing his trust in those who claimed my allegiance. As it turned out, it was a decision both of us would come to regret. And on the streets of New York City, regrets are measured in bullets. Money? I didn't know, man. I swear. Oh, fuck out. No. Why are you cheating? Give me some audible, dog. <laughs> fuck you, nigga. You need to get up on it. Don't y'all niggas need to shut the fuck up? Marcus! Damn, dude. Look who ain't dead, yo! I ain't the only one. What you talking about, nigga? Your boy's fucked up, Calf. My pops is still alive. You're taking notes because I'm only doing this once. Don't make me knock you out, girl. I'm gonna give you a workout you won't. Uh! I don't see any blood. Come on. What are you waiting for? Kill him already. I don't see any blood. Come on. How could you? 
I'm just a girl. <laughs> Frick! Get him! Ah! Yeah! Douchebag! Yeah! Uh. Ah! You, you, uh, you punk! <sighs>
truly is his father's son. The very first time I saw that kid take down a perp, some high-class pimp with a preference for purple velvet. In that moment, I saw my old friend, and boy, it made me smile. And not just because of the guy's furry outfit. If you think Nick's got it going on now, you should have been there when he worked homicide. Why do you think he got suspended in the first place? Next time, when you have time, buy me an espresso and a raspberry ham and passion, and I'll tell you all about it, but not now. That's a story for another day. So, it was Higgins faking his own death. We had a word for people like that back at the company, but I don't remember now, so I'll just say bastard. Well, it's good news for Vic. <sighs> Motherfucker was innocent. I can't believe I got played. Listen to me, what matters is you got your man. I always said you'd make a hell of a detective. Pal, Lieutenant, I, I'd say the kid deserves a promotion, wouldn't you agree? I got a better idea, Whitey. How about you give my pops another hearing with the DA? Now that you mention it, there may be something I can do. Pull a few strings, if you will. We can choose where we're going, but we can't choose where we come from. I always thought Marcus was lucky to have grown up with two fathers. Some don't even have one. As it turns out, neither of us was worthy so i pose a question where did my son find the integrity to stand hard against corruption and decay to trust in honor or even the law truth be told i don't know but i do know this to watch your child rise up and become a better man than you could ever be that's quite a thing <laughs>